Hey guys, so Jenny from Laser Gaming. In this video, I am so excited to show you the trailer for Call of World War II and basically just tell you five reasons why this game will change the franchise forever and for the better, in my opinion. And this isn't really an exaggeration. These are five things that we know already that will be pretty much brand new to the franchise or something that hasn't been done in a very long time in Call of Duty. So before I get into this video, just like I say, drop a like down below. Tell me what you think of Call of World War II in the comment section. And I just also want to hear from you guys in the future again. So don't forget to comment down below, start a discussion about this game. Because I know a lot of you don't necessarily play Call of Duty on my channel, but I want to know how this game intrigues you. Because the trailer, personally for me, I was waiting for the trailer to make uh, my full decision on this game. And obviously this isn't gameplay. We're going to get multiplayer gameplay at E3. But this trailer just looked super awesome and it really just seemed to capture the emotion of World War One just in a short trailer. But first thing, which is personally the biggest for me, is that it says that there's going to be 48 players in multiplayer. So on the back of some of the um, games, the sort of like disc packages for the games, it says, normally it says like 2 to 24 multiplayer, um, 2 to 18 multiplayer on games on Battlefield 4, it says like, uh, 10 to 64 players for multiplayer, um, but on this game it says 2 to 48 players for multiplayer. So this is something unheard of in Call of Duty. Um, being able to get 48 players in a multiplayer game, the only way we used to be able to do this is like modded PC games on uh, COD 4. And this is just insane to be able to get 48 players in a multiplayer game. I know, I know we've seen this in Battlefield, and don't go crazy because this isn't revolutionary in the gaming scene. But as far as Call of Duty goes, this opens so many avenues for them to be able to change up the multiplayer. Um, something I heard Drifter talk about in one of his videos, just the kill streaks that you'd be able to use on 48 players in multiplayer. And uh, they talked about really having this game focus on gun skill and strategy more than anything else. So I'm wondering if that kill streaks might be toned down in this game. I'm not sure how I feel about that, and obviously I'm not going to go too in depth into that thought because uh, obviously that isn't confirmed or even been talked about yet. Kill streaks have not been talked about at all. But 48 players um, in multiplayer. There's a bit of a possible ca uh, caveat to this, and I'll talk about that in two points. But it looks like it looks like we're getting 48 players in multiplayer in Call of World War II. The next is the co-op story mode, um, which we found out is pretty much zombies. I mean, the cover page for this is a Nazi is a zombie. Um, so I'm assuming that it's going to be uh, some sort of Nazi zombie. It said basically that uh, this is when the Third Reich was um, like experimenting with undead soldiers um, when they were extremely desperate towards the end of the war. So this is obviously going to be a side aspect of the game. The campaign is going to be 100% historically accurate. They've had historians, other than obviously the characters, because it'd be kind of uh, insensitive, honestly, to use real people in the story. Um, but being able to, uh, other than that, it's going to be historically accurate. They've had historians work on it, but this co-op mode seems to be some sort of the science fiction aspects of World War II, which is something that really intrigues me personally. And they put an emphasis on the fact that there's going to be more of a story mode, honestly, a co-op second story universe uh, for this game. And uh, for zombies, that's something we don't really see. The only story mode we generally see from zombies is from the really hard easter eggs that the majority of players can't complete. Now, I don't play zombies too much, so I can't attest to the easter eggs that much. Um, but for me, I've never really had an urge to go out and do the easter eggs just because of how hard they are. But if it was just a story mode where I could complete them, and they still had side easter eggs riddled for the players that love that, I would really like this game mode, and I just hope it has an emphasis on a story, because that's something we don't really see is a side story mode of the zombies that adds more of the science fiction aspect. Next is sort of multiplayer game modes with sort of a purpose to them. So this is the war game mode coming to the game, and the war game mode sounds similar to Operations from Battlefield 1, which many of you on my channel are familiar with. And it tells a story by taking you battle to battle. And Sledgehammer promises the war will change the map design, strategy, and teamwork. So the objectives might be on D-Day, for example, one team will be storming the beach and the other will be on the bunker. And the objective of the storming the beach team is to get to the other team's bunker, destroy a bunker, maybe destroy a key aspect of the enemy's uh, front line in order to push them back, and no pun intended to the Battlefield 1 game of front lines, but uh, it's a narrative 
driven mode that will bring gripping new layer of excitement to the Axis versus Allies team play. And I'm just super excited for this game mode because we haven't really seen a back and forth offensive game mode in Call of Duty in the past, especially one that has uh, distinct front lines between the enemies, um, considering that the really only objective game modes where the enemies fight over one core objective has been hardpoint in previous CODs, but that moves all around the map and it isn't spawn dependent. I'm assuming this will be spawn dependent and spawns will not flip on this map, which is something that'd be really cool, especially in like a 24v24 setting. This would be super awesome. Now, Divisions is a new approach to create a class and character customization as you listen to Division and progress through the ranks. So they've already said that they're changing up create a class and character customization in this game. And uh, Sledgehammer has been really what seems like the innovative um, sort of branch of the Call of Duty franchise lately. They're the first to go to jetpacks and they're the first to go back to World War II. And with both of them, they brought a ton of innovations. Uh, they brought customizable score streaks, uh, the Pick 13 system in Advanced Warfare, and they brought many other things within that game, uh, even though the game wasn't that good. They still tried to do what they could with uh, the futuristic setting, and I really hope they continue that innovation with World War II, because Call of Duty really does need to be refreshed with this new setting, but they don't need to keep the same general skin that they've had in the past. Uh, if they're able to innovate on top of that, that would be super awesome, and I'd really like that. Um, I think I'm actually going to go beyond five points now that I think about it, but uh, some of these are just similar points. Um, you can choose within the divisions the infantry or armor division, which will change the way you progress the online uh, progression in multiplayer. So for example, if you're the armor division, um, I'm assuming there will be some maps with tanks in this game. Um, so you may rank up faster by killing tanks or playing in tanks. Um, but as far as infantry goes, or like destroying vehicles, uh, taking down kill streaks, but if you're the infantry, you'll rank up faster from being infantry. That part of it is speculation, but you will be able to enlist in the infantry or armored division, and I'm just speculating how that will work, but that is something we haven't seen in the past. A little bit, a tiny bit in Infinite Warfare, we saw that with the different, um, I forget what they're called, they're like the mi mission teams, the different mission teams within that game. Not going to go too in depth with that because who really cares uh, necessarily about that, uh, the old game, the old-ish game. But uh, not necessarily an entirely new thing, but the way they're implementing it seems to be relatively new within this game. And then lastly, a brand new social feature um, within... Um, Call of Duty is called Headquarters, and this is where the caveat comes to the 48 player multiplayer. This is a brand new social feature for Call of Duty where you rally and interact with your fellow soldiers, and it seems to be in sort of a bunker, um, sort of base kind of setting where you can just go and be social with all the people, maybe for example in a clan or something, you could have a headquarter, and it's sort of like the tower from Destiny, where a bunch of players can meet up there and you can maybe purchase stuff, purchase uh, skins, and stuff like that from here, assuming there's going to be supply drops in the game. And guys, it's something we got to get over. Uh, they're going to have it in this game, even though it sucks. It sucks, but they're likely going to have it in this game. And um, basically, it's going to be kind of cool to be uh, connect with other players through this setting, but... If this is where the 48 player multiplayer interaction comes in, I'll be extremely disappointed. If they put that on the back of the disc and you only get to interact with 48 players in a headquarter, that would be really stupid. I'm assuming on Destiny that won't be true because on Destiny it said uh, 12 players on the back. I'm almost entirely sure for multiplayer for the uh, PvP aspect, but you could have like uh, 50 plus players in the tower. So let's hope that's not true, but I just want to keep you guys wary at this point because we do not have official confirmation of either of these from Sledgehammer. That's just from the uh, box art that is official box art, but uh, they haven't specifically pointed out the specifics within this. But um, likely we're going to get 48 players in multiplayer and likely headquarters is separate. But again, just want to keep you guys wary. Tell me what you guys think about the... Oh, okay, this Call of Duty World War II. I'm super hyped for this. Still going to post Battlefield Hardline 4, Battlefield 1, all those games, of course. But I'm just super hyped for this game. Get a new refreshment to the Call of Duty series, something the series desperately needed. Uh, tell me what you guys think down below in the comments. But that's what it is for you guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. This day have set upon a mighty endeavor. We are all that separates the world from darkness. The enemy is ruthless. We cannot. We must not fail. Lieutenant! Tell them what we're all about. No mission too difficult. Welcome to the bloody first. You're a long way from Texas for him, boy.